Hey, everyone. Welcome back to our channel. Today, we're traveling to the Mile High City to explore the logo history of one of the NFL's most iconic franchises, the Denver Broncos. From their humble beginnings in the AFL to becoming Super Bowl champions, the Broncos have undergone several logo changes that reflect their evolution as a team. So, buckle up, and let's ride through the Denver Broncos logo history. 1960-1961 The Denver Broncos team, owned by Bob Howsound, began its career in the American Football League's debut season in 1960. Their earliest emblem very much resembled a hand-drawn cartoon character. It featured a football player riding a galloping horse. The colors matched the uniform of the time, brown combined with mustard yellow. The player wore ivory-colored cowboy boots, a yellow helmet, and a dark brown shirt with the letter B in the center. The bold letter B with short vertical serifs represented the franchise's name. The furious horse raised its front legs while the hind legs were lifted off the ground. The image seemed overloaded with many details, fluffy mane, flowing tail, spurs, and horse tack. 1962 to 1969. In 1962, the team introduced a new logo. The overall concept of the Denver Broncos emblem remained the same, a football player taming a stubborn Bronco. The shape of the player and the horse was completely changed. Designers made the image more dynamic and slightly aggressive. They sharpened the lines of the mane, tail, and ears. Although the new player didn't look as relaxed as the previous one, he still retained part of his predecessor's optimistic mood. The Mustang attempted to throw the rider off, but the latter tried to stay on the horse, grabbing the reins with his left hand and clutching the ball with his right. The rider didn't use spurs or a saddle strap. The animal had massive hooves. Bared teeth and flared nostrils were a vivid sign of aggression. The player wore striped pants and a long-sleeved 63 Broncos shirt. If the Mustang and player on the debut Denver Broncos logo were oriented to the left, then in the 1962 version, they were turned to the right. The external contours of the figures were dark blue and white. Short lines extended beyond their limits to create the illusion of movement. The era of 1962 to 1969 brought significant changes in the color scheme. The yellow-brown palette was abandoned, the official colors of the team became dark orange, royal blue, and white. 1970 to 1992. In 1970, the team adopted the proposed logo and abandoned the familiar concept of player galloping Bronco. The new logo featured a large orange letter D on a blue background, with a galloping white Bronco in the center, exhaling steam. The letter D, which, of course, stood for Denver, was written in the same font as the B on the player's outfit in the 1960 logo. The horse didn't rise to full height, only the upper part of the body was visible. Artistic elements, smooth strokes emphasizing muscles, lowered eyebrows, open mouth, and steam coming from the nostrils, were aimed at highlighting its strength, power, and aggression. The white horse was outlined in black. 1993 to 1996. In 1993, the Denver Broncos introduced a moderately modified version of the previous logo to make the image clearer and more noticeable from a distance. Changes only affected details, designers thickened the outer contour, added smooth lines in the mane, removed the stripes with steam, and made the eye entirely black. The letter D remained the same as in the previous version. The color palette also didn't change. 1997-1999 the Broncos radically changed their logo in 1997, a design that the team continues to use to this day. The new logo was unveiled on February 4, 1997. Navy blue replaced royal blue on the team's color scheme. The current logo was a profile of a white horse's head with a navy blue outline, with an orange mane and navy blue outlines. 1999-2002 a profile of a white and navy blue highlighted horse's head with a navy blue outline and an orange mane. A new shade of orange on this logo is lighter. 2002 present. Profile of a white and navy blue highlighted horse's head with a navy blue outline and an orange mane, the shade of orange was darkened and the navy blue was adjusted slightly as well. Thanks for joining us on this journey through the history of the Denver Broncos logo history. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for more content on your favorite teams and their histories.